Jack Brewer, evangelist and CEO of the Brewer Group, joining me now to discuss. Jack, uh, thank you so much for being with us today. And um, it is an interesting trend. We heard so many calls to defund the police uh, last year. But we're seeing them backtrack. And I want to just show you some of the, uh, the Democrats who have done so. We'll pull those up on the screen. We had the San Francisco mayor, London Breed, securing now emergency funds for law enforcement. Oakland mayor, Libby Schaff, who pledged to hire more police officers suddenly. Chicago mayor, Laurie Lightfoot, asking U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland to send in ATF agents. New York mayor, Bill de Blasio, who plans to spend more than $100 million to build a new NYPD uh, precinct in Minneapolis City Council, who approved six Six point four million in police funding. It does seem like a strange reverse uh, of policy. How do you explain it? You can't explain it. Not not with sound reason and judgment and a clear mind. Um, the unfortunate reality is they'll never talk about all the lives destroyed, uh, all the communities that have been destroyed because of those decisions. Now they'll just be able to, you know, speed ahead and overlook all of that. Uh, as they start to and realize that we need our law enforcement officers and we need our police departments to protect and serve, particularly the most underserved Americans. Uh, and so it, it really is sad because you look and you see the violence that's taken over our cities. You, you see uh, how there are kids in the middle of the streets getting shot. I think over 400 kids uh, have been shot this year in Chicago. That's 400 children shot. Uh, you see places like New Orleans that uh, have record numbers of juveniles that have been shot down and gunned down in the streets. Uh, our prisons are being filled with kids that are too young uh, to be going to jail. And we have a crisis on our hand. And it's because of these policies, because of uh, the way that the Democratic Party uh, has gone into our schools, ripped out God, uh, and came in with these liberal policies that have take, taken the souls of our children uh, and thrown them away. And so we need a spiritual awakening right now mm. uh, as we enter into this Christmas season. We need a spiritual awakening. Uh, and I say it all the time, unless we are willing to put the paddle back in school uh, and yeah. give our teachers and give our communities the ability to raise these kids with some sound discipline, yeah. order, and respect, it's going to be really hard for us to turn the tide in this nation. Yeah, and indeed, you've launched a program to get God back into schools. Um, we'll come to that in a minute if we could, but I wonder if you just had a, a Christmas message, Jack, uh, on this special day. Hey, it's the miracle of Christ. Uh, Christ was born, uh, and that is what we're celebrating. We have to talk about that and speak that loud. Uh, like my mom said last night, Christ received the gifts from the three wise men. Let's remember to give Jesus uh, the gifts this holiday season, not just our families and our friends, uh, but let's give Christ the gift of doing what he told us mm. to do, uh, and, and that is going around and preaching the gospel to every nation, uh, standing for righteousness and truth uh, yeah. in the order that God said. Open up your Bibles this Christmas, America. Read the Bible to your children. Put that Word of God uh, in their hearts and in their minds. Uh, remember that the Word dwelt amongst us, and that's what it says in John 1 and 4, 14, uh, and that means that Christ came from the Word of God, uh, and so we still have that, and Christ is living the day. It's a special day indeed. I think a lot of people forget that it's a holy day as well. Uh, Jack, thank you for Amen. reminding us that today. Have a very Merry Christmas to you, your family, to your mother. Uh, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Merry Christmas, Jack. God bless you and God bless the entire Fox family. Thank you very much.